Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new-ish Harry Potter Lego set that's going to be set number 30628, the Monster Book of Monsters, with 320 pieces and you can't actually buy this set in most cases. It is a very strange history. This set was available for $19.99 USD, which is what it's valued at, $20, at certain Lego discovery centers in America. It was also a Black Friday promotion uh, for Barnes & Noble. Uh, if you bought, it was like $100 of Lego Harry Potter stuff at Barnes & Noble, you could get this. It quickly sold out. And right now, starting January 1st and while supplies last, it is a promotion with $175, uh, excuse me, $75 of Lego Harry Potter sets. You get this for free. So I got this when I bought all four of the Lego Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts class moments. And that's, I think, the best way to get this set or buy the mosaic. Uh, you get that as well. It's a really great promotion. I do wish it was a little more readily available because it's had a very, very strange history but the front of the box is pretty nice it's got the uh, harry potter trio up top there cool branding nice picture it does come with one minifigure you can see in the bottom corner there although it's a it's a weird one spinning the box around uh, we see the play feature on the back the book actually chomps up and down and it's got some dimensions and everything not too much else to say for this box it's a pretty basic one let's take a look at that instruction manual and here's the instruction manual, and it's not what I expected at all. First off, it opens to the middle page, doesn't like rest closed. It's really weird like that. And it's, uh, you know, up and down instead of uh, horizontal, vertical, uh, which is really, really weird. Opening it up, the you can see the whole instructions are like that. And at the end of the manual, we don't have too much going on. We got a picture of the play features, parts list, and then an advertisement for the other 2020 Lego Harry Potter sets, and then nothing else. That's the back cover, which is pretty interesting. I guess it's what I'd expect from a promotion set. Pretty cool manual, not too much to say there. All right, and here's the set all built up, and it looks fantastic. We're going to take a look at that Draco minifigure first, and then look at the build of the set. All right, only one minifigure is included in this set, and that's going to be Draco Malfoy. And this character is exclusive in composition, but not in pieces. His torso is the exact same Slytherin sweatshirt we've been getting for a very long time now. His face and hair piece are the exact same as uh, his appearance during the entire 2020 year. The Hogwarts Student Accessories set and the uh, Astronomy Tower, which is disappointing. I would have loved some more exclusive characters. He does come here in the medium length legs, which I think is the only time we've gotten Draco at this height. And his accessory is a a uh, brown wand just like he always has and for those of you who don't know the wand pieces can be positioned out like you're casting a spell or held right up the wand has no bearing on the minifigure who I really think should have been Neville Longbottom. It makes sense for the monster book of monsters to have a Neville figure, considering he was the one constantly getting attacked in the movies and everything, and he just seemed to fit this scene so much more. Draco Malfoy only kind of, you know, snarkily said like some passing comments and everything didn't really have too much bearing i think this would have been a great opportunity to get an exclusive torso print for neville maybe redesign the cmf one to have some rips and tears from being attacked by the monster book of monsters maybe include the accessory here although i don't know because it is a cmf accessory but i would have really loved that neville uh, from that scene and everything, ripped up robes and everything, it would have made this set so much more desirable, and it would have made so much more sense than this Draco, and his back of the facial printing right there, it's a very angry expression, and then his, you know, calm, you know, smirking one over here, and I just, I don't like him. It's not exclusive, but if, if they were going to do this figure, which they did, I think a exclusive facial print, or maybe a recolor of his hair or something, you know, was in order, maybe even a different torso print, just a non-exclusive figure that I was able to create using my own spare parts for my, uh, every Harry Jacob Malfoy minifigure video is just like, all right, that's it. Like I could order like six of these guys off Brickling for like a dollar or something. Like it's not exclusive at all. And that's really disappointing, especially for a set that is so good as this one, because it's a great build. And that's all I got to say for the minifigure. So let's move on and take a look at that fantastic build. All right, and clearing this minifigure out of the way, it's time to take a look at just the Monster Book of Monsters. Now, there were a ton of stickers for this set. We have two up here, the Monster Book, and is a break right there. It's a little awkward, but I mean, it works pretty well, and you're able to stick them pretty close together. We have an of sticker right there on one of these uh, one by four tiles with a flat uh, two stud area in the center. We have three of the eye stickers on these uh, two, by four, uh, two by two slope pieces, and then uh, just a generic hair piece on another one of those pieces. Uh, it's the same one is the of just you know without the word of and then on the bottom we have the word monsters and those stickers look really well uh, really really good however they were very difficult and quite a pain to put on because you had to make sure you line them all up perfectly and it took a bit i would have really loved maybe some prints but i understand why they didn't because that would have been a lot of printing the overall end result does look really good and i'm very impressed 
The book also has page designs, and that's really cool. They use these hay bale pieces, all textured the same way to like layer pages, and that goes around the entire thing. I'm a little disappointed about that little like blank spot right there and there. It does look a little bit awkward, but it's still pretty good. The spine of the book, I think, could use some improvement. I think another two of these pieces, the uh, curved ones on these studs right there, would make it look so good. And I would have loved another sticker with the name of the book just going across this, like the Monster Book of Monsters here, because the spine looks really blank to me. And if displaying the book like this or something there's nothing there you kind of have to put it like this and speaking of displaying the book the scale for this works really well with the Mulan book. As you can see, they're approximately the same size. So if you wanted to get a stack going, you could stack these up, have this one leaning awkwardly against the side of the Mulan book. Whichever you wanted to do, they are approximately the exact same size and everything. So that looks pretty good, although they're drastically, drastically different models. Now, the main part of this set is going to be the play feature. And that's accomplished by pushing the book forward and it chomps. Now, how that works is a gear mechanism underneath. There is a wheel right here, two wheels right here. And when it spins, these black pieces roll and they push up the roof of the mouth. There is a movable tongue in there along with some very nice teeth and some danglies here. These danglies are, I'm not sure what they're exactly supposed to represent, if they're bits of leather or books or anything, and they're hanging all over the place. They're pretty simple. That's pretty much all the cosmetic stuff for this book, but I'm going to show you the play feature now. All right, so the only way to uh, activate the play feature is going to be to hold the book for my thumb is right there, because that's the only part of the book that doesn't jump up and down. Put your fingers on there. And it's very loud, and you can't really go the uh, backwards. You have to go forward. And here, let's see if I can show you this coming directly at you. Just push. And it doesn't work great on some surfaces, and it's a little awkward to do. However, it is a really good play feature. It works quite well. I'm going to try it on some tile real quick, get some footage of that, because the play feature is one of my favorites. I'm just having some trouble getting it in the recording studio. All right, here we go. And on this tile surface, the book really, really chomps. You just go and it, it really, it really rolls. See if we can get a better, better angle here. Oh, <laughs> sometimes it does flip over a bit. Uh, we're going to try this one more time then head back to the studio. There we go. So other than being a bit finicky with the wheels and everything, this play feature works amazingly. I've had tons of fun just rolling it around and chomping it and everything. Again, that works just by moving the, uh, the wheels here and the book bounces up and down pretty simply. And I do love that. I love the display model here. I think it's a really unique promotion and something I really like. If you guys want to see it, I might do a video ranking the Lego Harry Potter promotions, this set, Diagon Alley, and the Bricktober pack, because they all are really, really cool in their own unique ways, and none of them have been in the same scale or the same style. And that's really, really cool. And the set is also really remarkably great value. The minifigure isn't great, like I said earlier. However, I'm very impressed with this. For a freebie, this is a sizable set and also something that we've never seen in LEGO before. The closest thing would come to a Monster Book of Monsters is a small minifigure accessory in the CMF series and then a weird print way back in the day. Now, I really like this and it goes well with the large size Hedwig along with the other books and it makes a great display piece. And the play feature is really fun too. I'm very impressed. I thought it, originally I thought it was going to be a bit bigger, honestly. I was a little shocked by the size, but I guess it just looks bigger on the picture on the box and everything. When you take a look at that, it feels like the scale is going to be a bit up there. I mean, I understand that it's not and everything. The box is very, very large for such a small model, but it is a really great model, and I'd have to rate it a solid 9 out of 10. For a promotion set, especially one that I got for free, I cannot complain at all. I'm just a little pissed off that we got a Draco minifigure because that makes no sense and Lego Harry Potter has been so good with minifigures and then they pull out this really great promotion set and it's just a, a Draco minifigure and I really wish it was an exclusive minifigure a variant or even just a same old version of Neville that we you know would make more sense with the Monster Book of Monsters, but it's okay. The minifigure works. Draco's an okay figure to get more of. It's nice to get the Slytherin uniform and everything. That's pretty much all I gotta say for this review, though, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this set in the comments down below. Were you able to get it? Uh, can you find it? If not, um, are you upset? Are you gonna try to buy it secondhand? This is a very strange promotion because it's been all over the place, and I really wish it was more consistent and I do hope it shows up because I would like to get another one of these at some point to keep sealed and everything because I do think it's a really, really nice set. And that's really all I got for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I want you all to have a fantastic and safe rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the very next video.